you probably have basic understanding on how to come up with the primary classification of fingerprint. Just check for the words, number them, add one and you will get your primary classification number. Sound simple? Not so much. There are much things that are needed to consider to come up with the primary classification of fingerprints topic such as primary classification value in amputated fingers, scarred fingers and why one is added to the primary classification and also another question can special worlds such as double loop worlds can also be considered or included in primary classification. So to tackle this question stay tuned and now let's move to the next slide that is the main pointers of this presentation. First of all, you will get to know about the rules of the primary classification system. Second, you get to know about the groups that are arranged in the database of FBI. The third pointer is the numerical values for the primary classification system. The fourth point is how to calculate primary classification number. I know most of you know that. After that, uh, I am going to answer the question that is why one is added to numerator and denominator. And the sixth pointer is the primary classification in scarred and amputated fingers. This is a very important topic. And lastly, you will get the practice worksheet for this PPT. So check them out. Uh, I will tell later in the post how will you get that. Now, the next slide is uh, about the rules for the primary classification system. So the rule number one is always classification of 10 digits starts with the primary classification. Rule number second is the values of the primary classification sets between major and secondary. You can also see in this uh, Henry classification number the values of primary sets between the major and secondary. After that uh, uh, fingers used uh, here as you say uh, primary classification uses all 10 digit fingers or this is why it is uh, firstly named to be a 10 digit classification. Now numerator the numerator values are come from the sum of even numbers then we have add one. Similarly, for denominator, sum of odd numbers plus one. After that, patterns, only worlds patterns are used. And possible grouping is 1, 0, 2, 4, that is 2 to the power 10. And this is due to the fact that for each fingerprint, there is two possibility. There is two outcomes. First of all, it could be a world or it could not be a world. So there are two possibilities and there are 10 digits. So the value comes to be 2 to the power 10. Now, the highest possible value group is 32 by 32. Uh, in this case, they are, uh, all fingers have world. And uh, the lowest possible group value is one by one. This means that uh, none of the finger has a world pattern. Now let's move to the next slide. That is how groups are arranged in primary classification system by FBI. And this is a great representation uh, that can help you to easily understand how they are arranged. As you can see that the primary classification of fingerprint starts with one slash one and uh, in the first row the denominator one is constant and the values of numerator goes from one to 32. Similarly for the second row uh, the denominator two is constant and the numerator values goes from one to 32 and this goes till the denominator values reaches 32. Here you can see that uh, for 101 there is no worlds and the group 32 by 32 to represent that all fingers have worlds. Now in next slide, what are the values of primary classification and for worlds, they are specific values are assigned and these are the values that are assigned to different fingers and I will tell you later in this post how to learn them easily. Now for the loops and arches, the value comes to be zero. Moving to next slide, what finger pairs are there? As you can see that there are five pairs and uh, there are various questions and FAQ section also included in the post check them out uh, i will share later in the video how you can get that FAQs. so as you can see that pair one starts with the right thumb and uh, right index after that we divide the value 16 by 2 then you get the value for pair 2 that is 8 and for pair 3 you have to divide the pair 2 value that is 8 by 2 then you will get 4 for pair 4 you have to divide pair 3 values by 2 and you will get 2 for pair 5 the value will be 1 by 1 and this is how they are easily represented uh, just pause the video and take a screenshot now moving to the next slide that is what if central pocket double loop or accidental loop was or should they are registered in primary classification the short answer is yes they are registered because they are also a worlds unlike other subdivisions of henry uh, they use a rich count or rich trace values but here only the appearance of the worlds matters so if the central pocket double loop or accidental loop worlds are appear they are also considered as a world and name them accordingly 
as per their numerical value. Now moving to the next slide, why one is added to both numerator and denominator? To answer this question, let's check this Henry classification number. As you can see that the primary values sets between major and secondary and the value of major can be zero or zero. So if the primary values uh, in case of there is no word, the value also comes by zero and zero and for major, sorry, it is not zero, it is O by O. So it can easily misunderstood with the primary classification number. That is why we added one to get uh, the lowest possible group value one by one. I hope now you can answer the question why one is added to both numerator and denominator in primary classification. Now moving to the next slide, that is why other divisions are needed to other than primary. As you know, there are 1, 0, 2, 4 possible groups and they all the fingers in the world are arranged in, can be arranged in this group. So what are the, the reason why we need other divisions to classify them? I'm not going to answer here. You just have to Google the primary classification of fingerprint and just follow the link where you will get the answer of this question. Moving to the next slide, now let's talk how to calculate primary classification number. First of all, I highlighted the appearing of the words in this 10 digit. As you can see that it is appears at the right thumb, right middle, right ring, left index, left middle and left ring. And uh, the first step is the primary values for the word. So these are the primary values with respect to their appearance. And now uh, this is the same value. I use green for the odd and uh, orange or you can say skin color for the even numbers for, so for this set of values the primary classification value is 11 slash 28 now let's find out how we come up with this number first of all the step two is addition first we have to add all even numbered fingers and uh, for that you, the values are 0 8 0 2 0 that gives 10 and the third step will be we have to add one so when we add one the final value will be 11 similarly for odd number the sum of all finger value is 27 then we have to add one then the final value will be the 28 so the primary classification number will be uh, numerator by denominator that is 11 by 28 now let's check what are the primary classification values in scarred fingers uh, possible rule for primary division only these are the rules that are only used for the primary division rule number one fully disfigured impression in this image you can see that the thumb or the impression is fully disfigured one can't understand it uh, what the pattern is so in for this type of patterns where we can't know the pattern on the fingers then we have to use the corresponding opposite hands pattern so if it is a right thumb the then we have to use the values of left thumb and for rule number two partially scarred with possible known pattern type. Let's assume that the finger gets scarred from the edges, uh, but still you can identify that it is a word. So in this case, when the there is a partially scarred, but you know that it is a word or any pattern, then we use the same pattern type. Rule number three, both corresponding opposite fingers are fully disfigured. So let's assume that uh, this, this is the pattern on the right hand, and this is also the pattern on the left thumb. So in this case, both corresponding fingers have fully disfigured pattern. Then we have to number them worlds. So the right thumb value comes to be world and left thumb value also comes to be world. Now moving to the next slide, that is primary classification value in amputated fingers. And there are four possible rules. Rule number one, if one, two, three or four amputated fingers are missing, patterns from corresponding opposite hands. So if we say that the right thumb is missing, then the patterns from the left thumb is used for the primary classification value. Rule number two, that is two opposite fingers are amputated. For example, let's say that the right thumb and left thumb both are amputated. In that case, we have to name them word. Now, rule number three, all fingers are amputated. In this case, the primary value will be the 32 by 32. And now rule number four, both hands are amputated. Then we use the footprint uh, to, to come up with the primary classification value. Moving to the next slide, now let's do the practical one uh, for the amputated fingers. As you can see that here is AMP, that is a reference value that is used by FBI for the amputated fingers. Here you can see that the right index and the left ring is uh, amputated. So the corresponding head fingers values are used. So it is a word. So the right index value is called to be word. Similarly, for the right ring, 
and the left ring value will be the world. These are the corresponding values for this 10 digit fingerprint. Now moving to the next slide that is step one. These are, these are the same values. After that, uh, the second step will be the we have to add all the even number that uh, comes to be 24. Then we have to add one as per the rule that gives the final numerator value 25. Similarly, for denominator, the value is 23. Then we have to add one. Then the primary denominator value will be 24. So the final primary classification number will be 25 by 24. Moving to the next slide, uh, this uh, practice number two, this is a uh, simple example uh, and where the worlds are appear at the finger number one, finger number two, finger number four and finger number five and lastly at finger number seven. For this, I am not going to uh, use the traditional way to calculate them because I have created a calculator for this. So I'm going to use that calculator to come up with the primary classification value of uh, this 10 digit. Now switching to the calculator, this is uh, here you can see that this is here sorry for that and as you can see that the worlds are appear at in our case the worlds appears at finger number one finger number two and finger number four finger number finger number six not worth and at finger number seven and eight nine ten will be the uh, no world value so for this the primary numerator value is 25 and primary denominator value is 23. So moving back to the slide. So the primary classification value will of this presentation is 23 by 25. Moving to the next slide. This is very easy as they all are worlds. The primary classification value will be the 32 by 32. Now moving to the Next practice number four. Sorry for that. I mistakenly write it secondary. It is primary. It is primary classification. It is fourth practice. Here the worlds are appear at first, fifth, and seven. So I I am again going to use that calculator to classify this value. So as you can know, the worlds are appear at one first, fifth, first, fifth and 7 so for this set of value the primary value comes to be 1 by 23 so you can use the calculator i will give you the link uh, where you can use the calculator for free as promised these are the resources for you you will get the primary classification calculator and a downloadable worksheet for practice after that you can also download this ppt to get all of this you just have to google the primary classification of fingerprint and in the first page of the google you will see our website forensicreader.com uh, with a title henry fingerprint classification system or in some cases you will see this this also pops up so click either of them after clicking the post over to the table of content and click on the henry classification system calculator and you will get the calculator that i used now over to the 5.2 section that is the primary classification in this section you will find a note which is in the green box there is a link you have to just follow the link and you will land it on a new page titled with the primary classification of fingerprint and at the last you will find an FAQ section where you will get the pdf versions of worksheet and ppt so get them and lastly thank you for listening my heavy voice so if you like this video please smash subscribe button thank you